Okay, hi guys. Um, the purpose of this video is to show you what an increment borer does. Um, so an increment borer is used in taking tree cores um, to be able to look at the rings of a tree and determine the age and a lot of other factors, um, which you will learn more about in class. Um, so this is the increment borer itself and it comes just, it's a little tube kind of, and you unscrew the top and out comes the actual bore with a um, like a screw tip kind of on it and then this thing called the spoon which you use to take the core out of the um, hollow bore. I don't know if you can see that it's hollow. Um, so you kind of just, it's like a whole little setup. You kind of just attach it there and then you have your spoon um, and then this is what you would bore into the tree. I'm not going to do it here but if I were going to, I would just apply pressure and turn this um, until you get into the tree. And then once this is in here, you use the spoon to go in and then um, you turn it 360 degrees to break the core off at the end. And then you would take your core out and it would be right here. Um, so like I said, cores are really useful um, for a lot of different things you can look at climate from past years um, and the age of a tree obviously and yeah um, pretty cool stuff so there you go okay um, so I forgot to mention in the last video uh, why we don't actually take a core from a tree on campus um, and we only do it in specified areas that we have permission and it's for research purposes um, so obviously when you're using this you're boring into the tree itself and you're exposing the interior of the tree to the elements and to insects um, and so it just makes the tree a lot more susceptible to disease, insects, and um, temperature, things like that. And a lot of trees have defense mechanisms where they'll exude um, sap or you know just the liquid that's flowing through the tree um, to kind of protect themselves but sometimes that's not quick enough and the tree still gets infected or um, can potentially die. Usually about 8% of trees that are cored in a group um, get infected or die. So, yep.